pretty good there, and then all of a sudden, what happened? Next, they go on a big run. Can you talk about what happened at that point to you guys? I think they just did a really good job of uh, executing their offense and making some shots. Uh, I think we gave them some good looks, and they did a good job knocking them down. But uh, in times like that, uh, when we have a little lead, we need to focus, especially on the defensive end, get stops, get out in transition. But um, you got to give credit to them. They, they made a lot of really good plays tonight and, and played tough. And, and yeah, just a, just a great finish, great game. Tom, you had a nice little exchange with the students here after the game. What did it mean to you to get this win in, in your last home game here? It means a t I, I really can't put it into words, really. I mean, my, my time here has been a dream come true, really. It's been more than I could have ever asked for. And, and yeah, to be able to finish like that with the win and with my family all here, I mean, it really doesn't get any better than that. And I'm just so grateful to the UCLA family and everything that all the people here have done for me. And it's just been incredible, really. Uh, Tom, earlier this week, you said you weren't sure how the motion, emotions would be tonight, you know, with senior night and everything. You, you said it, you, you would have to wait till tonight to really figure it out. Um, what were, were the emotions like in the pregame with the celebration and then during the game compared to what you thought it would be? I was getting a little misty, not going to lie, when I was walking out there with my parents. Uh, no, but yeah, I mean, that's, it comes with senior night. I think it's, it's an emotional time just because, I mean, it was my last time playing in here. And, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's just so much fun to get the crowd into it and, and be there with my family. I mean, it's... Like I said, it means the dream come true. It's just a special night. You've talked a lot about kind of Bill Walton's legacy in, on this program and you being a center as well, and obviously him being here for your last game. What's that relationship been like for the past uh, few years? Oh, it's been awesome. I mean, he's, he's incredible. He's, uh, some people are, are indifferent about him as a commentator, but personally, I love him. And, and it's great to have him at the game because he's giving me pointers before going into it. And, and it's just special to have a guy like that in the program because, I mean, he's a basketball legend in, in the college game and the NBA as well. So. Uh, to, guy, to have a guy like that um, teaching you and just being on your side, it, it helps a lot. And I think it's just one of those great things about UCLA. Thomas, could you talk briefly about the, uh, the mindset and your intensity uh, in overtime? Yeah, I mean, it's my last home game. I'm a senior. It's senior night. I mean, you got five minutes left. Game's tied. It's, it's just about leaving, that, leaving uh, everything you have out there on the court. And I think we did a really great job of that. Just trying to get some guys fired up and just get a little run going. I think we did a really good job of uh, putting some points on the board and, and closing that game out really well. That three from the baseline in overtime, uh, what did that feel like? And I think that might have been your last shot in Polly. How, how cool was it to have that be a three pointer and you hadn't really shot threes until this year? It's special, man. I think it, it shows kind of how my shots progressed and now being able to shoot threes and, and yeah, to have. Uh, the last shot be a made three in overtime in Paul. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty darn special. So uh, it's going to be something I'll remember for a very, very long time and just a really awesome night. In addition to the fact that it's your last game here, do you look at this game and perhaps others and play scoreboard and say, boy, we're looking good for the NCAA? Or do you, you know, look at the bracketology and all that and all that stuff? I mean, not really, to be honest. At the end of the day, it's just about just going 1-0 every single day, whether it's uh, in practice or obviously on the court, uh, just trying to improve ourselves. Because, yeah, I mean, this is the time of the year where teams start to separate themselves. And, and we have a really big uh, three-game uh, three road stretch coming up here. So uh, it's going to be three hard tests for us. But I think uh, if we just keep working hard, keep preparing the way we are, I think we'll be ready to go and, and, be, good and be in uh, good shape going into the tournament. Coach was making the case for Aaron as uh, Pac-12 Player of the Year. Um, and, and tonight we saw what happens when he's on the court versus off the court. Can you talk about just his impact overall on the team and, and, and kind of the galvanizing force he is at when he's on the court for you? Yeah, no, I think, like you said, that moment where uh, we were up by nine or ten points and uh, he picked up his fourth foul, had to sit for a little bit, and they cut down the lead. I think that just goes to show just how much he impacts the game offensively and defensively. He gets us in our sets offensively, and, and he's a great defender on the ball too, locking up their best player every single night. And, and yeah, I think, uh, like Coach was saying, I think he's definitely a major candidate for Pac-12 player of the year because he's putting together a really great season. And yeah, just playing really, really well for us. How, how uh, much fun was it to go out there and win a game like this with wild momentum swings and to get it finally going in your favor and, and pull it out? Uh, you know, it felt real good, you know, because the last time we played them, they got us up there. And, uh, you know, it felt good just to really just sweep the whole, the whole week. So a good win. Uh, you guys shot 18 threes in the first half, 33 total. Were you guys just feeling it from three because you took a lot from there? I think we usually shoot a lot of threes. Uh, just sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. But our main focus is to get out and run and shoot open shots. So, yeah. When you went out 
Was there a plan for, for how long you were going to have to stay out? Did, were you trying to lobby your way back in as soon as you could? Uh, what was kind of going through your mind? When, how did that kind of unfold? I have faith in my teammates that they're going to get the job done if I have to sit out. I obviously made a dumb mistake, but I'm glad they kept the game tight when I, when I was out. How did your, Aaron, how did your defensive mentality change when you got those four fouls? I know they were trying to run a lot of pick and roll with Pritchard on you. Uh, it didn't change at all. I just played the same way. I just tried, obviously, not to reach in or make any dumb fouls. Chris, you'd had a off shooting nights the last couple of games out, and then tonight five for nine from three. What kind of change for you? Were you getting in the gym more the last couple of days to work on your shot, things you know, like uh, that? Uh, really, I mean, I don't think it was, you know, a great game. I thought it was, thought it was cool. You know, I missed, you know, a couple of easy buckets, a lot of easy buckets. So, you know, the last, you know, I couldn't hit threes last game or the game before, but you know, I just, I felt it tonight. I felt it when I was warming up, and you know, it just, I, I'm glad it went down. Chris, I, Chris, uh, pregame, I think you and Jalen were showing off your dunks. I mean, yeah, I was is, in her too. You were? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is did you guys? Is the dunk contest something you know you guys want to do in the future if you're in the NBA? For me personally, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not really a, a the dunk contest guy. You know, I just you know it was the last home game here, so you know I just wanted to show out a little bit, get a little up. Aaron, uh, Coach was talking about the plus minuses from w from when you're on the court and off the court. I, we don't know what the, they are for the season, but he said that they were pretty staggering. Do you do you pay attention to that, and do you take pride in in the impact you're able to make uh, in plus minus uh, for this team? I don't really pay attention to plus minus. I don't really understand it that much. I mean, if I go out and play hard every possession, then I feel like that's going to be great for our team. And I just try to focus on playing hard and just trying to help my team win, basically. Uh, make shots, get them open shots, and just playing defense, really. Aaron, um, you went up by 11, then they came, went on a big run, and uh, you guys have lost a couple big leads early this year. So mm -hmm. what's it mean to actually come back and win a game like this, do it in overtime, and especially this part of the year? Uh, it just shows toughness and how much we've grown from the beginning of the year. Obviously, our tough losses were on the road. I think Michigan was one of them, Stanford. And we were up and big, and we just let them come back. So we've obviously learned from that, and now I guess we got the job done tonight. Aaron, how did this game against Oregon here this year compare to the one in Poly last year that also went down to the wire? Was, what were the differences emotionally? Uh, well, for me, I have a bigger role than I did last year. Obviously, we had Zoe, TJ, Bryce, Isaac, EK, and obviously Tom. So I had a different role. But this year, I just tried to stay focused on the main goal, and that's to get the W. And I'm just glad we did it. For either one of you, what's it like to send this senior group off with a win like this uh, out of Poly? It's great. Uh, before the game, I just tried to make it as clear as I can to get it done for the seniors. And I felt like toward the end of the stretch, like when they got the ball out of bounds at the last second, we really toughened it out and got it done. And I feel like that was for the seniors tonight. Chris, what's the biggest thing that uh, Aaron brings to the team when he's on the court as far as helping helping the team, run the team, and, and keeping you guys uh, kind of flowing out there? You know, leadership for sure. Leadership, scoring, you know, giving it up when he when he doesn't have the open shot or, you know, just helping other teammates overall. And, you know, when he gets in foul trouble, you know, for me personally, I know it. It's like, dang, <laughs> you know, he's, we need him. So, you know, I'm glad we was able to, you know, help him out more on D, you know, that way he wouldn't get another foul. So. And it, it helped out, and we won. So. As March is just vastly approaching, how much do you guys pay attention to just the last four in and out and just bracketology and stuff like that? To be honest, that really doesn't matter. Uh, we obviously hold our own destiny. Like, If we win, we're most likely going to play in the tournament. So we just keep winning, and it would take care of itself.